Oh, well, it's the morning of what I'm calling day one. Yesterday was day zero where we hiked up the Springer Mountain. This is day one. It pretty much rained all night long. The tent persevered very well. And hey, look, there's Waldo on top of the tent. So he's ready to help us take it down. And then we're going to hike the two tenths of a mile up to the top of Springer Mountain, get some more video, and we'll be good to go. And then it uh, looks like uh, everyone survived. Yes. <laughs> We had we had one incident with the air mattress, and we'll uh, we'll address that later. <laughs> These are the uh, bear cables. These are the bear cables at Springer Mountain. As you can see, they're all down, so you can't use them. They want you just to use the bear boxes. So uh, don't try; they won't work. So this is the privy at Springer Mountain that you can't use. They don't want you using it anymore. They said it's no good. So you got to dig a hole in the woods. All right, so we're here at the southern terminus. And as you can see, no view. So we didn't get the magic view today, but that's okay. We did make it here. So that's our proof. All right, you ready to roll? Now it's time to turn around and go back down the trail, walk the mile we just walked. But this time it's all going to count. All right, here we go. All right, so we're back on the trail again. So the issue we had was um, we had an air mattress, and last night Angela sprung a leak. <laughs> so luckily we were we had to come back by the, by the by the jeep on the way on down the trail from Springer Mountain because we parked at the bottom. So we ended up I had a moving blanket in the back of the jeep because I tried duct tape and everything to fix it, but I couldn't do it. So. We've got a big humongous moving blanket in the back of her pack to act as a cushion for the ground. So um, we're going to make it work. But other than that, it's raining. We're heading down the trail again. So. Hello. Yep. Everybody say hi. So here we go again. I'm beating this thing. All right. Taking a break at the Stover Creek Shelter. Video. Enjoying some lovely spam. Oh. Cheez Its Fruit Snacks Water And water Not just any water Smart water Alright, back on the trail later Nice little site Double Decker Shelter Got a bear box Right down there The same as the one in Springer Mountain that northern tool bear box. So, if you do camp here, uh, this was actually stuff that's a little bit closer than Springer. Springer was spread out pretty good. This is nice and close. No bear cables, but you don't need them. All right, back to lunch. Whew. Now it's raining. A whole bunch of rain. One lesson learned is uh, you're coming here. If you're coming here, be prepared for anything as the weather changes in seconds. And I do mean seconds. Okay, there's an interesting water crossing. The bridge looks the way to go, and then there's that log. So let's just see what happens. Yeah. But definitely I'll take the log. I cut little grooves in it for grip. It's just past the Stover Creek shelter. Probably shouldn't do this while I'm videotaping, but hey. Woo! Made it. And there we go. And yep, it's still raining. Yeah. So.
Hawk Mountain Shelter. <laughs> and dinner. <laughs> it rained on the way here. Like cats and dogs. Like cats, dogs, horses, cattle. You guys have a destination everything. mind or so, we were supposed to finish all just a short entry today. Uh -huh. um, the shelter's great. It's a uh, double decker shelter. Mm -hmm. It's got a bear box. Like, the like those yeah, Northern Tool a, uh, bear boxes. I don't know what I'm do, and uh, <laughs> the water source. There's a water source right before you get here, about three tenths of a mile. That's the best one to use. Uh, the one that's here at the campsite is eh, so so. The water's kind of dirty. Um, so I would just, before you get here, either fill up or just walk back and get it. But that's pretty much uh, what's going on here at the Hawk Mountain Shelter. So, I probably could do more, but I'm more tomorrow. That that will. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you see how loud that rain is. Not five minutes after I laid, made the last video, maybe ten minutes, it just decided to torrential downpour. We had to throw everything inside the tent real quick. And uh, now we're sitting inside the shelter, waiting the rain out before we go back to the tents. And we got thunder and lightning. So, hey, life on the trail. <laughs>